Good morning. <laughs> Young my sit. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chuck and Paige here mm -hmm. with no time to be sad. Yay. My favorite part of the day. My favorite part of the day is drinking coffee and people watching mm -hmm. and then soup. Those are the only two things that I gotta have every day. I miss soup when I'm traveling. Sometimes you can find, actually, you know, Kautom, Kautom Musa. It's okay, I like that too, but you can find chili pepper everywhere in Thailand. I'm like addicted to the pepper <laughs> a lot. I used to not be that way. Like when I first met Paige, I, I don't think I could even eat a pickled jalapeno. I liked like cayenne, like Cajun food, but not real spicy, you know? So I started, when we started talking about Thailand, I started eating like jalapenos a little bit at a time. And then before, before we left, it got to where I could eat a raw jalapeno, uh, no problem. I was putting it on my food, you know. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> spicy, it, it, it's difficult to eat now without pepper. We have to go to Nakhon Phanom today. I told my mother-in-law if she wanted to go with us that we could go eat. You know, maybe sit by the water since some of the restaurants are open. Maybe we can go go eat, find a place that's allowing people to sit. I know the uh, Chelsea's is open. You know, we could go there, but I don't think like you can only have a small group at a table, just like at home. Not close to like tables can't be close together either. But most everybody's takeout. So I said, let's just go. She goes, no, you can't, you can't. I was like, yeah, we can. She's like, no, they don't sell, you can't drink beer there. I'm like, well, maybe we could just go have a nice lunch. I don't have to drink beer, you know. But... No, no drink, bye bye. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna get some to take home, I guess, right? Maybe. Mm. Anyway, that I have to get more. I was gonna make a video on, because so many people have asked about the, pizza dough, the pizza crust. Uh, I'm gonna make a pizza, little little quick how to make homemade pizza. And you can actually make the pizza quicker than you can call and have it delivered, really. But um, I'm gonna do that. I, uh, I was gonna, this, we have this little shade that when the sun comes down in the house a certain time of the day and it really gets hot. So we have the shade that you know comes down, but it, it's been broken for a while, the rope, <laughs> keeps breaking but they changed the rope but the the shade itself is like really old so my mother-in-law made my father-in-law get a new shade well, it's been sitting in the house for at least three months <laughs> maybe longer and uh, I had asked her before I said how come they didn't what are they waiting for it to fall down and she said no they got to get a long the long stick you know and everybody at the time was like on nobody could leave their house you know so but now it's done and people are probably looking for things to do as like so i she goes she, i have it put up in the room she goes just bring it out so he can see it you know so i brought it out and said hey you want me to do this 
I can hang it up. He goes, oh, no, 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 my belay, my belay. I said, yeah, Tam Eng, Tam Eng die. He goes, no, you need, uh, you know, si khon, sam khon, my belay. I said, no, falang, ben, si khon, sam khon, it's okay. I'm, I can do it. He's like, no, 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 no. So I, I was just thinking, wow, you know, you wouldn't believe some of the things we have to do back home by ourselves, you know, and just hanging up a stupid little... Anyways, like, no, 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 no. Like, okay, I don't understand the concept of that. But hey, if you don't want me to do crap, I'll just sit on my computer, I guess, and pick my balls, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and your eye gotta get infected. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people are asking about your pictures up here. You know, it's funny because they're just like family pictures and pictures of Paige. And, but you know, a lot of people consider us family now even though we don't know who you are they know who we are and they always want to know what these pictures are maybe we could show them the pictures but before i forget i'll show them the picture it's just a picture it's a picture of page let's go look they're just family pictures of events old picture right there billy has uh graduated high <laughs> Some people are going to be going, we don't give a shit about this damn stuff right here, I tell you what. Mm -hmm. Paige, when she was, were we together in this picture? This was Vietnam, right? Yeah, but this is the first time I went. We weren't together yet, right? Yeah, that's about 14 years ago. Billy graduating high school. Her little brother, Young Soy Mafia. It's just pictures of them, mm -hmm. right? You guys in Galveston, her mom and dad came to America. They went to Galveston. Mm -hmm. Faye, you guys met Faye, her cousin. Mm -hmm. Is this your high school graduation or college? Yeah, high, school. high school. You were what, about 17? When did you graduate when you were 12? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paige. Paige is pretty smart. That's her in high school. That's us in Chicago, in Chicago. Willis Tower, remember that used to be uh, the Sears Tower. Now it's Willis Tower. And uh, those are just pictures of her brother. Yeah, it's just it. My mom and us in, and back in Chicago. I don't know why we have a lot of pictures of us in Chicago. We didn't spend like a lot of time there. You know, but um, when Paige first, I'll tell you a quick story that Paige shared with me a long time ago. When she first came to America, she went to uh, Aldine, mm -hmm. Aldine High School in Houston, Texas. You were what, 15? You didn't mm -hmm. speak any English, mm -hmm. but you were in ESL classes, right? But nobody spoke Thai. We we're all Spanish. And did you have anybody that spoke Thai or Lao? No. So it was difficult, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, they had a the uh, they had an algebra. What's it? Algebra two, algebra one, algebra just algebra. She didn't really know what was going on, but her teacher put her in a contest, an algebra contest. And uh, in Thailand, they don't use calculators, right? They use some kind of rule, some kind of... How do they do it in Thailand? You have to memorize a table. Remember, no, you don't have a table, an index or anything, right? You don't have a calculator. You have to memorize a timing table. So you did the... You won the competition, but you didn't even realize it was a competition? No. It was easy. <laughs> it's not like a fifth grade test or something. Yeah, but you impressed that they were pretty happy about. They were like amazed that you could do it without. It was easy though, right? Mm -hmm. So she won the contest and didn't even realize. She's like, "What? Is, this is easy stuff, you know? Why are you giving me this simple stuff? You know? Why is this even a contest, right?" Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you to really start? Well, she, about a year, right, you said, to really start being able to talk English. Mm -hmm. She had no option. She moved to Thailand with her with her, uh, her aunt in her aunt's house, and they mostly speak Lao. Yeah, only my aunt and my uncle. 
And your aunt, oh, your aunt and uncle were only once. But the kids spoke English. They were born there. Yeah, they were born there. So mm -hmm. she had no option to learn to speak pretty quick. But you watched like TV shows like Full House and. I do need to hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watching cartoon is mm. good. <laughs> yeah. Easy language. That's how you're learning. Right. And don't question that much, you know? Mm -hmm. You see the picture, the gun, then you have to ask, what is that, why? Yeah. No, that's what we do. Do you miss America? Huh? Do you miss it? Uh, a little bit. I miss hanging out with my friends. Yeah. You know? That's one thing you really don't have here, huh, as friends. No, I don't have any. I mean, you do, but you don't really... Well, my teenager life is in the state. Yeah. I only here until 7, 8, you know? Yeah. 8 grade. It's very far apart, 8 grade. Yeah. Do mm -hmm. you think eventually some of them will move here? Um, it's depend. Depend on the economy, depend on how. Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, the friend, the good friends you do have, they don't live close, so it's not like no noise and them, you know. No. They got their own things going on. Everybody has their own thing. Yeah. It gets frustrating sometimes just being at home, I know. Especially for Paige, because her mom has her doing all kinds of chores, you know, and stuff, constantly. She never complains about it, but I've learned to kind of read Paige's actions, like your face. And I can tell when you're upset about something, because you never complain about it until it's like too late. Sometimes I don't catch it in time and she explodes on me. I'm like, well, what the hell happened? You know, why didn't you say something, you know? But I think that's the difference in the cultures because when I have a little bit of a problem, I say, Ugh, you know, it's exaggerated. Oh, I think when you, know? you leave outside Thailand so long, you have to know how to manage your, yourself to be able to leave outside your country. You can't just say everything. Yeah, so you have to think before you say, you know? Yeah. It's not like that. You can say everything. Right. You have to think, but sometimes when you say it, it turns out to be bad, you know, after you calm down, and then it's worse <laughs> than it's supposed to be. That's true. We do that a lot. Mm -hmm. You know? So you just stop. For an hour, and then when you come down and think again, and then maybe it's nothing, it's just a little bit of thing. I remember having arguments with ex past relationships, and then after a while, you're like, What the hell are we fighting about? Because we made such a big deal out of mm -hmm. something that was maybe a misunderstanding or something, and then later you're on, and like, What were we really fighting about mm -hmm. anyway? You know, yeah. so. But, I get irritated, but I'm pretty good about forgetting about it pretty quick, you know. I don't oh, like to carry yeah, things on. that too, but sometimes it's too late, you know. Yeah. Relationship, it takes a long time, but if you blow it out, it's never a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like me, I only keep three chance. Mm-hmm. After three chance, I told you I know. Yeah. How many of my I have? One. <laughs> <laughs> I got one left? I got two left. Okay. <laughs> I got two left. <laughs> They're gonna wanna know what that one was. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Huh? It changed my shirt. It's in the morning. That's the second one. <laughs> and then, so do you, do you feel like going, you ever think about going back to America like for longer times than we do? I don't know what to do because everybody has their own life, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like, yeah, my friend, but um, they have what they, you know, everybody grow up. 
not like that. We still hang out, you know. People have to make a living and everything. So. I feel like that too. I feel like, mm -hmm. man, I miss, I miss bass fishing. I'm like, man, I really would like. Hello, Bob. Mm -hmm. Bloated, you know, like acid, like that. So you can get comfortable. Man, man, man. Too much soda. 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 <laughs> okay. But if you think deeper into that thought, then you have to get a house, and you have to be responsible, and you know you have to make money, and mm -hmm. the other things that come along with it is not appealing to me, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I would just want to retire in the U.S. You know, I just I don't. I, I'm too stressed when I go back there. You know? I like to go back. Hello, Lido. Colorado is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some not city, you know, like. I think like last time Charlie we went. Last that time we went, we nice. just Outside. it was like rush, 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 dude. That we were like in a hurry, and I, and I was trying to take care of some legality stuff, and it was just mm -hmm. a mess, you know, dealing with that. The last trip is a lot of travel. Tired, you know, because but you know, we could do anything you want, you know, if you feel like, because uh, I'm always the one, oh, let's go do this and let's go, you know, if you want to go spend two months in Colorado, I can make it happen, you know. We have plenty of friends in Colorado mm -hmm. to stay at their house or rent a place or, or something, you know. But I like the, I miss that too, the fishing and the hiking and the, the clean water and the clean air. It's beautiful up there, yeah. Not in the winter time. <laughs> when I get back to Houston, I only can, I only, I'm like about a, one week and I'm ready. Not even a week, I think, a few days and I'm like, I'm, I, it's not much to I start do. getting like, oh, these people are annoying, you know? Everybody is in a hurry to go nowhere, you know? Mm -hmm. Colorado does have a different feel. San Diego, too, but it's so damn expensive there, you know? Yeah, it's a lot of people, too. A lot of people, but I get the weather and the food and... Mm -hmm. I love San Diego, but it's just so expensive. And there is a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Colorado is spread out. Yeah, on the west side. Uh, but I like going like up in the mountains, you know, when we went up into... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I always forget the name of that park. It's not with the mosquito? No, that was in New Mexico. No, mosquito is in Colorado. Charlie, remember we have to put the tent out. The net. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. There is so much mosquito. That's because we were up on the up way up on the mountain on the lake. Oh, that's on the Wyoming. Yeah, but I like Wyoming and, and that area too. Jackson Hole. Jackson Hole is <laughs> touristy, you know. <laughs> but it's in Wyoming. Yeah. National Park, You know. You can rent a cabin, or you can rent a tent. The world's a big place, though. You know, we've never been to New Zealand. No. We've never been to Australia. We've never been to a lot of places that might be similar. You know, so that's where I'm at in my life. Where I just mm -hmm. want to see. I want to go do those things. You know. Yeah, no, not you want to go Russia. I'd love to go to Russia. I'd have to say I'm German or something. <laughs> they might not let Americans back in there anymore. I screw that one up, huh? You're half German? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, am, you are. <laughs> I am half German, but my last name's not Hoffman. My grandfather is. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just use your grandpa. Yeah. Actually.
I don't, I, I don't think it's really going to be that big of a deal. <laughs> But, you know, I really want to see China. You know, I really want to go see parts of China. Mm -hmm. You know, that's probably more touchy right now than, than Russia, you know. But, uh, they probably don't like American. Yeah, I don't want to go somewhere where it's unsafe for you, you know. But this stuff will all blow over soon. Mm -hmm. China's all about money, so. <laughs> they gotta. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. Just wait and see. Can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have some quesadillas too. Oh, you wanna make quesadillas? Mm -hmm. We gotta make quesadillas. <laughs> Today, well, everybody's. Everybody. <laughs> a lot of people been <laughs> sending me. Man. Is the whole month of May? It's May. It's a celebration. Cinco de Mayo. It's a celebration in Mexico. Mexico. And we celebrated it in Texas and a lot of southern part of Texas because mm -hmm. a lot of Mexican heritage in Texas. So. Gonna make a big tortilla? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have a press or nothing. I have to improvise. She wants, but she wants it, so I gotta make it. I've only got two chances left, so I can't screw it up. Mm, yeah. Small <laughs> <laughs> one. Mm -hmm. Small piece of you. <laughs> yeah, it'll have to be small because I have a small tortilla press. <laughs> Maybe an individual size. Mm -hmm. I want to wash my truck. This is why we have those big tanks in the back of a, our house. Well, big tank, because there's no water pressure. I can pee harder than this dam. There's no pressure, that's it, all the way max. That's from the city water. That's why you need a pump and a big tank. But I need to wash my truck. Yeah, I could, I could definitely pee harder than that. Maybe after a few beers. Look, this is stupid. I can't even hook up my pressure washer because there's not enough water for it. <laughs> oh well, I got plenty of time, right? All I got is time. Hour later, halfway done. Crazy. Okay, we're out of here in our partially clean truck. Mm -hmm. Just know. just me and Paige are gonna go. Her, it's too hot. Yeah. It's like really, really, really hot right now. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go into the Companome, do some running around. This video is probably gonna be long. I think we're gonna go to, let's go to Big C. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to Big C. I need to get some cheese, but. Maybe we go to macro too. We'll go look around, have a good day today. Paige just paid my health insurance online. She talked to our agent, which is a friend of hers, and showed her how to go online. So actually she paid it through Paige's Bangkok bank account. Just, just needed a, uh, they give you a scan code and then you run that through your bank. I don't know, but it was, it was pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. So if could I have figured it out on my own? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I mean that the Bangkok Bank is in, has English too on the online banking. So yeah, that's much easier to pay online. Yeah. Okay. Like everything else, and you know what we're used to back home, you could do everything on the computer. You don't even have to leave your home. Okay, let's go. You want some durian? Yesterday my pajama and she said, want to buy it here. And then the lady kind of insulted her. They said like, ah, oh, this one is 1,000. She said, why? And she said like a bomb. You thought I don't have money? But why not buy it? <laughs> she walked home. <laughs> well, here we are in empty Nakon Panong. Not a lot happening here still. Lord, 40 degrees. 
Yeah, it's 40 degrees. <laughs> it's not because of Corona. It's just it's 40 damn degrees outside. It's so hot. And it's not gonna rain. No. Well, let's go to Chelsea's restaurant. My uh, Falang friends. Actually, she's Thai. Hey, alert. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to Chelsea's. That's a dude. <laughs> yeah. Chelsea says they're building a hotel, which is right here. They had stopped working on it for a long time for some permit issues, but they finally got the guys in there working on it, got the permits all squared away, and uh, they're working on it now. So this will be a place to stay later on. Chelsea's is up here. Chelsea's, the orange sign on the left. Is this okay? Oh. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. Boring. Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful view, huh? I miss this town. Can't wait to get back. I thought you got fish. Yeah, it's fish. Oh. Steak. That's steak, pork steak, yeah. and fish steak. <laughs> Good. Yeah. She's got really good coleslaw here too. Beautiful view. All we need now is a, I'm not gonna say, a nice cold glass of water. A sparkling water. Everybody has so much fruit this year. Yeah. People are been. I know they're bringing me tons of mango to the house. Yesterday I had a big mango and I, I couldn't eat lunch because I was so like, full. The mango was so good, I ate it all. But I mean, it was too much. <laughs> that looks really good though. Can Thank you. Mango. Well, that was very awesome. Here in the Compagnon, they have very strict rules about the face mask. It's 20,000 baht fine if you're outside without the face mask, so we must wear it here, even though nobody has Corona. <laughs> Everybody can't wait to come see you, Then, Okay, all right. Well, that was good with no beer, 440 baht. <laughs> okay, let's go. Clean truck. Okay, we're here at Big C. This place is packed today. What is today? What's today? Thursday. Thursday. I guess it's so hot, people need to uh, come in here and cool off, I guess. Movie theater's closed. Everything, everything in here is closed. I have no idea where Paige is. I'm going to have to call her. Hmm. 
where you're at. <laughs> you look like you're high. <laughs> where are, where are you? Oh, you're on the beer <laughs> section. I should have known better. Okay. All right. Stay there. Mm, yeah, right. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I said, stay there. I'll be right there. I don't see her. Hmm. I said, stay right there. Oh, okay. I saw beer. I thought you were in the beer section. Okay, you did stay right here in the cooler, in the beer cooler section. Beer cooler. Ready for beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Something new. Is that M? Will you try that one? M? Not yet. German syndrome. Oh, look. Oh, yen ma. <laughs> okay, we have to go home to drink beer. <laughs> yeah, I got some french fries, some stir fries, and I got the one. I always check out the little on sale se section because a lot of times I have falang stuff here that nobody will eat. For this, I haven't tried my Pringle Lapmu Pringle yet. Somebody was asking me about. Yeah. You want to go down the Mekong River with that? Could blow some balloons. I guess these are not non-essential items. Or they are essential item? Balloon? I don't know. Hey, we could put this on the porch. My, my mother-in-law has told me no <laughs> not just <laughs> no she's like no do not buy a swimming pool what about the one with the slide <laughs> your mom would get pissed huh there's a bigger one here for you tool section Remember one day we were on a mission to find salt shakers and couldn't find them? Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Uh, this is pretty cheap air purifier. But like Paige said, it's probably the filters. You gotta buy their own, their special filter probably, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, a lot of things. Expensive. Fans right here blowing in. You could buy little air conditioners pretty cheap here so if you're gonna rent a place that doesn't have air conditioning you could always buy one of those for your room at least or maybe it's the size of a small room wherever you're renting we're in macro you ever tried to open one of these bags without licking your fingers and, and opening it I had to find a water fountain to open that bag Check it out, these are bell peppers, but I just put three in there, but 
They're three separate prices. They're not the same price. Anyway. Here's you a sweet bass. No. You want that? You want that? Mm. Now they have Australian beef out. Yeah, we'll just get beef instead. Like beef. Let's go this way. I'm so happy they have this pizza sauce here now. Mm -hmm. I should buy more of it, but they had plenty there. I don't... It's a pain in the ass making it from scratch, but <laughs> they like the taste of that sauce, so... I... I have to make my pizzas the way they like them because really I only like to have like one or two pieces. I'll tell you what, this thing right here in 40 degree, <laughs> what's 42? It's over 100. Mm -hmm. yeah. This thing sucks when it's hot. Yeah. Really, really does. Okay, I've got to, uh, I'm going to make quesadillas if you guys don't know what that is. Here's a picture of it. But mine's not going to look like that because I, they have this thing, it's called a quesadilla press. It's kind of like an electric skillet and you just kind of push down on the tortilla and it melts everything. And Anyway, I don't have that, so we're going to have to improvise. But I bought some really good looking Australian beef. Got a couple of a uh, couple of steaks with some fat in it, and I'm gonna chop them up into little pieces. And what it is basically, it's cheese and meat, whether it's beef or chicken or pork, in between two tortillas. If you know what a tortilla is, kind of like a uh, like a loti, a roti, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, with peppers and this and that, so. I'm going to make that because Paige wants that and it's Cinco de Mayo. All I'm missing now is Dos Equis and Modelo. But I am going to cook the meat and beer. And it's 4 o'clock. So maybe if I'm quiet, I can sneak a beer in while I'm... I like to have a... I like actually when I'm cooking to have a little cocktail or a beer when I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> Not lunch, but I don't know. It just... It, I like that. Somebody asked me if it was okay to drink beer in front of my house. So you can drink alcohol. You just can't have a lot of people. You can't have a party. And they don't want more than five people gathering together at the same table. But uh, they just don't want any celebrations right now. But I can drink a damn beer in front of my house. Right now, there's a lot of people on the river, just single people drinking bottles of chong and on the river. So it's okay to relax and drink a beer, but not, I don't know, like put a swimming pool out front and have a big giant party with a bunch of coyote girls. <laughs> That'd probably give me number two. <laughs>
Maybe I need to strap that thing on my legs. Yeah. Well, there you go. Improvised quesadillas. The meat turned out awesome. I actually took my eye off of it for a minute and it kind of charred a little bit on the bottom, but that's how really fajita meat is supposed to be. But uh, they don't like it charred, but they don't like it charred because it's cooked on a barbecue pit and they're afraid they're gonna die from cancer because of the charcoal. So, but this was cooked on the, on the grill, so. But it, the meat tastes awesome, huh? going to be a filling dinner at home. <laughs> the bike's still working good. Well guys that's it. I'm going to end the video today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. If we do something exciting I'll bring you guys along. I, uh, it's been a long day. Another day over. Good thing is uh, the number's still going down in Thailand quite a bit. So hopefully things can get somewhat kind of normal here pretty soon. Whatever that is. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to click that little subscribe button down here on the bottom. It's really effortless and it really means a lot to me if you do that. And uh, if you already have, don't forget to click the like or do both. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.